Hello everyone, my name is Vos Jozef and I am Mr. Musett. I am a digital illustrator from Romania, Transylvania, and in my free time I experiment with traditional art and lately I try to develop more my watercolor skills. This is my introduction I say about myself in almost every video I upload, but for this video is the most relevant as in the other cases. As you might saw from the title of the video, I will draw a Romanian mythology creature, more exactly the plague. And that introduction this time is kind of important because I consider myself a professional digital illustrator, so I decided to show you after a long time my process creating this kind of art. Most exactly I create exclusively vector art using Adobe Illustrator. Now let me speak a little bit about the project I am working on off camera and off all the social medias. As my native language is Hungarian and I am of course Hungarian, last year I started to create an illustration series based on the Hungarian mythology and folklore. I ended up creating six creatures inspired by all the documentation I found about this. I was quite happy with them, I also made some merch with them and I included the illustrations in the 2020 wall calendar and made some limited edition prints as well. I still have some prints from the series in my shop if you would like to check them out. You can find the link to the shop in the description of the video and also I will leave a link to the project from my website. A few months ago Antoineta Olteanu found my illustrations on the social media and as she was finishing one of her studies about the Romanian mythology contacted me if I would like to create some illustrations for the book. Of course I was very excited about the project because I was very interested in all these kind of different mythologies and I love to create illustration series based on these. I also created once a series inspired by the Greece mythology and a lot of people told me back then that my style and illustrations would go very well for a mythology book. Now let me tell you a little bit more about Antoineta Olteanu. She is an ethnologist and PhD professor at the Faculty of Foreign Languages, Literature of the University of Bucharest, Department of Russian and Slavic Psychology author of uh, numerous books in the field of Russian culture and civilization. The books published by her are on the one hand related to Russian history, civilization and culture. She is also a professor at Fundacja Kalia Victoriei from Bucharest, which are my clients for a few years now and we have a very great collaboration every single time I need to create an illustration for them. So as Antoineta Olteanu finished to write her study about the Romanian mythology, she wanted to include 30 illustrations in the final book and I think that I am very lucky that she chose me. I don't know too many books about this theme and this might be a great heritage to the Romanian culture, also it's a great thing that my name will be on it. So she sent me a document with the description of some creatures and places from the Romanian mythology and my job is to interpret and illustrate visually this. I really love to work on this project because I don't have too much restrictions. Because it's a book for adults, for those who love history, culture and mythology. Of course I draw 100% in my illustration style 
and I also don't have too much restrictions regarding the nudity of the characters. Which I am happy because sometimes when I really feel that the nudity of the characters express a lot in an illustration, I am not hesitant to use it. The only thing which I need to be careful when I color the illustrations is that the final work should pop very well from the page and attract the eye immediately. So at this point I finished 20 sketches and 16 illustrations. I create these illustrations digitally as I do most of the time when I work for clients because if I need to revise something is more easy and I don't need to start everything over. Every single time my process starts with the sketch most people might tell that the line art, which I call sketch, should be even a final illustration, but for me is only a sketch. At this stage I like to put all the line art and details as final as I can on the paper. And if the client wants some changes after this step, I can do it anytime in Photoshop. So after all the details of the line work are on the paper, I scan it and send it for approval. If I need to change something I do so as I said in Photoshop. Then I start to redraw everything in Adobe Illustrator. First I redrew all the line art to be very clean. After this I start to put on a separate layer the color shapes under the line art. And the final step is to build up the shadows and the highlights to add some depth to the illustration. All the process creating an illustration of this complexity from start to finish might take me around 2 or 3 days. Some people might say that takes a long time but I think that worth it at the end all that time. At the beginning when I had less experience with the vector art took me even more. So for this video I choose to record the process drawing the plague as in a lot of other cultures can be found as a mythical creature and also is kind of a current thing in the pandemic. So the plague in the Romanian mythology and folklore is described having a human head ox horns, serpent tail, which has at the end a big thorn, which use it to spread the diseases. Also the plague is a never seen monster, which has a cow leg and a human leg. This creature carries in its hands a scythe with which rips the souls of cattle and people. The most common however is it fully anthropomorphic representation appearing in the face of a woman dressed in white with disheveled hair. So this is the representation of the plague from the Romania mythology. I am sure that is very similar in other cultures as well because it is very similar in the Hungarian culture too. Because those six creatures which I illustrated from the Hungarian mythology and I mentioned at the beginning of the video, most of them will be reused in the book. So let me know in the comment section how is represented the plague in your culture. I am very curious. Hope you enjoyed watching and listening this video and you find it however interesting. If you did so, do not forget to subscribe to the channel for future similar videos. If you didn't subscribe already and give it a like as well. Also all my social media accounts are linked in the description of the video where I will post all the 30 illustrations after the project will be launched. Thank you for watching and do not forget, life is a song, illustrate it.